this is going to be for uh, general comparison purposes. Um, this particular canister is made of lead. It contains three pieces of uh, uraninite, a uranium ore. Uh, give you an idea of what it reads through the lead, just to show that lead doesn't really stop everything. Here's a Geiger counter placed near it. You notice how the count's picking up. And if I would leave that there, it's going to steadily climb higher and higher, um, you know, up to a cap. I'm not sure where, where it really sits relative to that particular uh, container with what's inside of it. But to show you just an idea of how thick it is, you know, here's the lid. That's lead. You know, if you would go straight down on it, obviously the readings jump way up. Uh, the Geiger counter would have actually, its alarm by default would have been going off a while ago, but I shut it off for this. Um, so as you can see, the lead does stop a lot, but even with thick lead like that, it does not stop everything. All right, this is the implant, the Firefly, as it arrived in the envelope. I've opened up just the, the yellow envelope so far, but as you can see, the background readings are right about what they typically are in this room. Now, ideally, you'd let it sit for hours on here to get a real true average, but uh, I don't think I'm really picking up much of anything through the, uh, the even just the envelope. Um, and you know, the, the needle and all that, I'm going to eject all of it. And you're going to see all of it under the Geiger counter, but I, I really don't think you're going to see much of anything at all compared to something like say uranium. Okay. So this is the prep kit along with the firefly still sealed in the, uh, uh, envelope it's shipped in from cyberize.me. Uh, here's the Geiger counter placed, you know, what presumably the firefly lies something about right in there. And again, nothing that jumps out at you. Maybe by now it would be detectable as with a long read time. Um, it's definitely not got much in the way of radiation to it though. We'll go a step further though and remove the uh, needle from the packaging. All right, now here it is removed from the sterile envelope. At this point, you're definitely would, you would definitely need to uh, disinfect this, I would think, before you handle it, you know, before implanting. I've not pulled the cover off the needle yet, but uh, I definitely would say that at this point I would already consider it to be compromised and would need to uh, re-disinfect it, which I will before implantation. Um, if I can balance this, here is the Geiger counter placed directly over the needle. And again, I don't think anything really noticeable at all. Nothing is jumping out at me. So we're going to eject the implant from the needle. And that's the Firefly in all of its glory. Definitely a pretty neat little thing. I'll be showing it uh, in the dark here in a moment. We're going to put the Geiger counter directly on it and see what kind of readings we get. Okay, we're going to grab the Geiger counter, put it directly over top. And as you can see, very, very little radiation here. Uh, at least that my Geiger counter can pick up. Now this particular Geiger counter can pick up alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Um, being that it's tritium, it should be beta radiation along with some x-ray, I guess. But uh, regardless, we're not seeing much coming off of this. Uh, I would consider it to be very, very safe. But let's have a look at it in the dark. There it is with most of the light shadowed around it. You can see it's definitely glowing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill all the lights. All right, and there it is. The uh, iPad definitely does not want to focus on that in the dark. I'm trying to get it in close enough. Maybe it'll start picking out enough detail to focus. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Um, glow is very faint, but it is very cool, very visible. This is the green one, of course. The yellow is supposedly uh, not quite as bright, but it's the second brightest color. And then, uh, from what Alex Smith has said, there are the other colors that are potentials too, but the uh, brightness will drop off quite a lot as you put other colors. All in all, I think it's uh, definitely going to be a neat thing. I do wonder, I noticed that I can, uh, that, that the inner vial does slide around inside of the outer one. I wonder if I'll be able to feel that clicking, uh, moving around after, you know, inside of the outer vial uh, once it's uh, in the body. Should be neat. Uh, either way, I, I actually hope it does click. That'll be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, that's all for now. Okay, I lied. That's not all for now. 
because I do want to mention that this is the uh, Firefly Tattoo Implant from CyberEyes.me. I uh, definitely suggest anyone who's interested to go check it out. Thanks.